Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you're at in the world. Today is a different video. We are still in my kitchen, as you can probably see in the background. Um, before I start this video, we are going to be doing an unboxing video today for a Westmark cheese board that's made in Germany. Um, this is not a sponsored video. Um, this is something that my wife and I have been looking to get for a while. And since I'm the one who does the cooking here, she gave me permission to go ahead and pick something out on Amazon. Um, one of the reasons that we went, to, or one of the reasons that we ordered a cheese board um, and special knife is because um, I don't know if I think people are becoming more aware of this, but there is chemicals in the cheese slices and in the already shredded cheese for clumping and melting agents, which are a little bit unhealthy. And due to the fact that we are trying to become a bit healthier, we want to start adding things to our kitchen. There's definitely going to be more unboxing videos coming. But anyways, hopefully you guys will be able to see this. This is the box that came in. I've already, I haven't taken anything out, but I've opened the box just to make sure it was the right thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box now. And inside the box is the board and the knife. It's wrapped up. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing else in the box. There is not. I'm gonna take the wrapper off. So this is adjustable. I'm not exactly sure, hey, that's a little sharp. Um, so to people who can't see all that well, this looks, if you've seen a paper cutter, this looks like a paper cutter. Seriously, it looks like a paper cutter. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to do it like this. Hopefully I don't have to move the camera too much. So basically it's like this. You just basically lift it up, slice it down. I don't actually know how this 100% works because I have not used it before. Um, your cheese goes on here, I know that. I just gotta figure out how it actually works because I don't know. Um, there's a little knob on the side. I don't know if you're supposed to pull it or twist it. Let's see. What we don't want to do is cut our finger. What we don't want to do is cut our fingers off. So there is a knob back here. Ah, so when you move the knob, this seems to adjust itself to a certain, this adjusts itself to a certain thickness. So you got a thickness knob on the side. When it makes that popping sound, I think it means you went too far. So I guess, yeah, it is. So um, this basically, it's on a little trivet here. You cut your cheese and then you can put it, you can line it up here on the board. So it actually has the, it has the thicknesses. Unfortunately for me, I can't read the thicknesses on this, but that's a pretty thick slice of cheese to be honest. Let's go ahead and pause the camera for a second. Let me get a little bit of cheese and we'll try this out. Okay, I will be right back guys. So we're back with the cheese. Um, as you can see, I have the cheese board in front of me here. Um, we've already went over the basics of how this works. I've got this set for what we would use for sandwich cheese. Um, I'm going to cut a piece, a few pieces to show you how this works. So basically all you do is there's a little lip here underneath the blade. Just be careful so you don't whack off a finger. I've almost done that. So you just line it up right with the edge here. And you push this down like a paper cutter. Look at that. You got a slice of cheese. Um, the cheese, oh, this slice actually kind of broke beauty. We'll try that again. Um, they usually don't break in half like that, but for some reason that just wanted to break in half. But that's about the thin, thinnest 
Um, you can go a little thinner than that, but I find that if you're going to melt this on a sandwich, this is probably the best way to do it. This is what a whole piece looks like. You could do a taller block. In fact, I'm almost certain you could stand this up like this. Um, you have to get a really good grasp on the cheese in one hand and go like this. And it also works that way as well. Um, I would say that if you can tell, I'm going to lay these out here on the cheese board itself. When I did it that way, doing it the flat lay seems to be a bit better. So my suggestion to you if you're cutting for it, if you've got a block of cheese that is the rectangle shape like this, is just to do it like this, and you've got your easy slice of cheese. Um, this all comes into being lined up. It does sometimes fall off, so just make sure you've got, you know, some clean counters when you do this. Um, otherwise, this is really all you really need to know about the cheese cutter. Um, it is a very handy thing to have. Instead of buying that shredded cheese with all the fate or buying the pre-sliced cheese with all the chemicals in it. So um, again, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Um, I appreciate you watching. Um, I'm just cutting up a bit of cheese so we can have some breakfast sandwiches, as you've seen in a previous video. Me make those. Um there will be some more gadgets coming. This is my pile of cheese for two breakfast sandwiches. In fact, I'll probably just, um, whatever I don't use, I will just probably eat. I'll probably just take one more slice here. But again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, recommend us to a friend. And thank you again for watching.